welcome back Baba, to TEW 2020. I am rewriting history. We just watched the Survivor Series 1996 and World War 3 and now I'm changing a little detail about this program. From now on I will only feature two weeks of in-game content per video because the videos otherwise get too long. I want to play this every day and I can record a 45 minute video every day. So from now on only two weeks per video. I hope that's fine with you. And yeah, things are getting really interesting. The WWE signed Rey Mysterio in 1996. Now we are really getting uh, into talk about changing the history, the course of history. WWE has been, WWF, pardon, has been signing a lot of people. So then let's go. We are in December 1996, finishing the year. We are into the first two weeks in this video. And then from now on, I would like to. So we do videos every day. Last night's money nitro. So we see 85 rating, 4,200 people in attendance in the less more kind of thing in Hawaii. Bob, weren't they just in Hawaii? Bobby Walker defeated Arn Anderson. Interview with Ted DiBiase. Back backstage segments with Booker T. Then with Jimmy Hart. Then one with Gene Oakland. Then with Scott Steiner. Then with Arn Anderson. Wow. Five backstage segments in a row. Chris Benoit defeated the Booty Man, an interview with Scott Hall, the Dungeon of Doom, Kevin Sullivan, the Giant, and Hugh Morris defeated Jim Duggan and the Rock and Roll Express. Randy Savage defeated the Ultimate Dragon. Warrior defeated the Barbarian. Hollywood Hulk Hogan defeated Eddie, Eddie Guerrero. That's an interesting match I would like to see. And the Outsiders defeated the Steiner Brothers. Classic stuff you buy, World Championship Wrestling. The Raw broadcast took place. They got a 1.43 TV rating, over a million viewers. Uh, yeah, and I checked in the game, the WWF is still number one. I thought that WCW was number one, you know, it says ranked the first in the world. But you see they have about 4.7 million dollars, while WCW has over 70 million dollars. WCW is ranked number two in the world, probably because WWE, the, I keep saying WWE, you get used to that, uh, because WWF probably still has more fans in Europe and all over the world but I think in the United States WCW is dominating and yeah the bank account speaks for itself so we continue and I'm really curious to see what Rey Mysterio can do in the World Wrestling Federation a new feud for Scott Hall. A leak appears to indicate that we will be seeing a long-term Scott Hall versus Randy Savage feud as one of the main storylines for WCW over the coming months. It said that the information leaked after a poster uh, was re accidentally released to the public. Monday Night Raw taping in Richmond Coliseum, 77 rating, over 11,000 people in attendance. The Undertaker left Psycho Sid Lane after a brawl broke out. The New Rockers defeated the Godwins backstage segment with Rey Mysterio. He's already featured on Raw. An interview with Farouk, backstage segment with Sunny. King Kong Bunny and the Smoking Guns defeat Bob Holly and Team Slaughter. Uh, the Undertaker defeat Mark Henry and a great main event, Steve Austin and Bret Hart defeat Goldust and Psycho Sid. So, we see this, the MVP of the show was The Undertaker. Is this true? Attack 1? No, Attack 1. Oh, what is this Attack? Attack Team Events. So, anyway, we continue. And they keep presenting Mr. Hughes. Um, WCW Saturday Night drew 2,500 fans. It was a taping. Papa Shango and Scott Norton. Ah, yeah. Charles Wright, he went to WCW. The Godfather may bring the whole train to the New World Order to please them all. Papa Shango, now he's Papa Shango now, cursing people. Like Dan Halden with muscles. Papa Shango and Scott Norton defeated Juventud Guerrera and Sergeant Craig Pittman. A backstage segment with Jimmy Hart. A backstage segment with Booker T. The Booty Man defeated Scotty Flamingo. John Tenta defeated Alex Wright. And Disco Inferno Pitch Black defeated VK Wall Street and Rotten Ready. 62 show rating. Um, yeah, Kai and Ty loses member. Dan Severn, my favorite American wrestler. 
No frills with this guy, the gray t-shirt. And a mean look on his face. Or he sometimes looks like friendly Ned Flanders. I love Dan Severn. WWF to launch storyline. Rumor has that would be something that Dan Severn becomes WWE champion. I would love to see that. But he's not in the WWF yet. So rumor has it that WWE are planning to run a major Psycho Sid vs. Stone Cold Steve Austin storyline in the coming months. That would be something. Did we ever see that in real life? According to some inside sources, the rivalry will be one of the primary focal points of the shows for the foreseeable future. The we have superstars. 50 HO rating. Show has yet to be broadcast. 2,700 people in attendance. Viscera and the Body Donners defeat the Sultan and Shining Force. Backstage segment with Rey Mysterio. Backstage segment with Billy Gunn. Bob Holly defeat the Road Dog. Now he's already called the Road Dog in 1996. They are using their later names. And also Viscera is already Viscera in 96. Tatanka and Coco Beware defeat King Kong Bundy and the Goon. Savio Vega defeat Isaac Yankim. But he's not king yet. We'll get that storyline. So ECW plotting new feud between the one man gang and the Sandman and also a storyline with two cold Scorpio and Sabu. This was planned. Performance of the night here belonged to Tatanka, Paul Heyman, yeah, Alfred Hitchcock. Look alike contest winner. So then here still in his younger years. That would be something if the pictures get updated and like in 10 years we get the new pictures, but I think I would have to do that. And so we have um, a lot of Japanese news that I don't care too much about. Moonwalk Rex retires. Sheik Adnan Al Casey retirement. Otherwise not much United States related Headlines here. We are about to finish the first week. Give this a start to that. Steve Williams won a title. It was ECW Holiday Hell again at the pay per view. So 1,600 people, 77 show rating. For this is that a pay per view? It seems so. There we even look at the pre show. In the pre show, RVD defeated Hack Myers. Spider number two defeated Devon Storm. Who is Spider number two? Thrasher. Thrasher is that. It's Marsh Spider number one. Devon Dudley defeat Chris Chetty and the Pitbulls defeat Violent Conduct. Interesting that they use different names then. Then the main show began with two angles. First, the Sandman beat down one man gang after getting better of a brawl. Sabu and Two Cold Scorpio came fa face to face backstage, got separated. It's with different angles, you know. Stevie Richards defeat Supernova. There was an interview with the Eliminator. Sammy the Silk and the Headhunters defeat Mikey Ripwreck and Bad Breed in a tables match. So nice that we have some ECW style gimmick matches here, that's quite authentic. The Eliminators defeat the Gangsters in a strap match to retain the ECW World Tag Team titles. A lot of gimmick matches. This is Extreme interview with Paul Heyman, interview with Bill Alfonso, a backstage segment with Beulah McGillicuddy. One Man Gang defeat Baba Dudley in the first blood match. <laughs> Only gimmick matches, Tony Khan is in heaven. He watches this program, maybe in attendance. The Sandman and Tommy Dreamer defeat Tast and Doink the Clown. There was an interview with Shane Douglas. Sabu defeated Two Cold Scorpio. And Do Dr. Death Steve Williams defeated Raven and won the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. Dr. Death Steve Williams, that's another guy that got buried by that brawl for all horse shit. Also, a guy they could have done something with. He was planned to feud with Stone Cold Steve Austin and then was often. Vince Russo fucked everything up. So, Steve Williams now the ECW Heavyweight Champion. WCW Saturday Night was broadcast, got a 0.2 TV rating. Barry Horowitz resigning rumor for the WWF. And we finish the first week of December and we go into the second week. This is really getting more and more interesting. Who would have no, no, not a surprise. The professional wrestling world is always fascinating, especially if you go through these what-if scenarios, and especially these ones that you cannot control and that some fancy simulator provides for you. I hope there are a lot of X factors in the calculation and simulation and the algorithms, so it stays unpredictable but still realistic and reasonable. Barry Horowitz gets an extension. Good for him. Dave Brown is a nice looking man. 
with uh, he works for the USW8. Monday Night Raw broadcast got a 1.39 television rating, over a million viewers. There was WCW Monday Nitro in the Myriad Convention Center mid south, 75 show rating, 12 and a half thousand people in attendance. Randy Savage had an angle, an angry confrontation with Scott Hall. Joey Max defeated Arn Anderson. There was a backstage segment with Scott Steiner, the Dungeon of Doom, Meng, the Barbarian, Kevin Sullivan defeated Conan and the Nasty Boys in the tables match. An interview with the Giant took place, a backstage segment with Bam Bam Bigelow, Kevin Nash defeated Bobby Walker by disqualification, there was an interview with Ted DiBiase, Lex Luger defeated Bam Bam Bigelow in a table. We see a lot of tables matches. Not only in ECW, two tables matches on the same weekly television program. Is Tony Khan already working as a booker here or what is this? Lex Luger defeated Bam Bam Bigelow in a tables match to retain the WCW World Television title. Lex Luger is really the workhorse here. He defends his title almost every week. Backstage segment with Booker T. Eddie Guerrero defeated Ric Flair for the United States Championship. You know that Ric Flair had the title. The New World Order, Hogan and Hall defeated Sting and Jim Duggan. And the Giant defeated Warrior to retain the WCW World Heavyweight title. A lot of title matches here on a weekly show and a title change. Eddie Guerrero is the new... United States champion. Okay, if they say if they don't use the word retain, then it means it's a title change. Ric Flair wasn't was he injured for a few weeks, or is it just because I didn't play this game in almost a year until recently? So, Ric Flair was the star of the show. Will he get back in the World Heavyweight Title conversation? That's the question. ECW ta Hardcore TV taping one aired, 0 0.05 TV rating. New champion, yeah, they confirmed that Eddie Guerrero is the new United States champion. The first time that Eddie Guerrero has won a title, congratulations to Viva La Raza. Um, Kenta Kobashi, back when Japanese wrestling was still serious, unbelievable. So, saying that it's not right now, but they're also getting goofy or got goofy. So, WWF Monday Night Raw report, but they're still. <laughs> New Japan wrestling is certainly still more serious than almost everything in the United States of America, but still. I look at DDT and that stuff. Let's say J Japanese wrestling also. Got too much of the silliness of the past 10 or 20 years. So, WF Monday Night Raw report 8,000 people in attendance. 81 show rating over uh, New Haven Coliseum in New England. I think we need more different locations. I think we always have the same few ones. But anyway, that's not paying too much attention to that. So Bret Hart managed to leave Shawn Michaels down after a backstage brawl. Team Slaughter defeated the New Rockers. And no, this is not Sergeant Slaughter. This is Nelson Knight, Viscera, and Tatanka. That's Team Slaughter. Maybe they'll get managed by them. Three interviews in a row with Mankind, The Undertaker, Rob. Talk about some. Serious talent here on the microphone. Roddy Piper, The Undertaker, and Mankind. Who, aka Jim, The Anvil Nightheart, and Coco Beware defeated The Sultan and The Honky Tonk Man, The Partisans. Mark Merrow, Shawn Michaels, and Hunter Hersamsley defeated Farouk and The Smoking Guns. And the WWF, WWF World Heavyweight Champion Stone Cold Steve Austin defeated Psycho Sid. Yeah, they were supposed to have a program. They already started with the title match on Raw. They saw that WCW had a lot of title matches on the show, so Steve Austin also had to defend the title. He was successful against Psycho Sid, and he already got hurt. Here they call him Sid Vicious. Sid Vicious has been injured. He broke a toe during a match. He apparently left the ring, but I think with a broken toe you can still go out. but pretty painful, I assume. Bad crew number two. So we have a lot of high profile matches here to end the year before we get close to Christmas here. WCW Saturday night taping, 57 show rating, 2,500 people. Jim Powers and Disco Inferno defeated the James Boys backstage segment with Booker T. He always has backstage segments. What is he doing backstage? Shampoo commercials. Backstage segment with Bam Bam Bigelow, The Booty Man and Heavy Duty defeat Scott Norton and High Voltage, Papa Shango defeat Rocco Rock and John Tenta defeat Alex Wright. The German is jobbing. I like that. So Mark Maris staying with the WWF question mark. 
Early indications are that Martin are set to stay after the company offered him a new contract. They should keep him away from Sable on television. I like to have a look at Sable, but she kind of takes all the attention away from him. But yeah, okay, speaking of that, he's in a stable with Triple H and Shawn Michaels now. We'll talk about taking away attention. Zip! Isn't that Dr. Bruce Pritchard? Uh, Dr. Tom Pritchard? Where does he look like that? He's staying with the WWF. He signed a new contract, probably, or they agreed to extend their working relationship. So, we have a recovery for Sid Vicious. Fans may have noticed that Sid Vicious has not been at his best recently. This is because he had been walking working through the pain of a minor injury last night. He's reported having given the news that he's officially back after a few days. So we have WWF Superstars taping, 2,500 people, 58 rating. The Body Donners defeat The Shining Force, backstage segment with James E. Cornette, backstage segment with Ring Stereo, backstage segment with Mr. Perfect, and backstage segment with Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Virgil and Team Zero Tolerance defeated The Goon and The Devil Machines, King Kong Bunny defeated Bob Holly, and Coco Beware defeated The Road Dog, Jesse James. Rick Steiner to resign with WCW? Question mark. Or will it go to the WWF? I ask myself. So then we see Kamal and Bob or Junior. It's an odd team. The AWF tag team titles. Um. So let's finish. Nobukazu Hirai. So then we see. White Knight for American Wrestling, no. I will use Mitsuhara and Sawa. Then. One of tapings here. Mark Merrow is staying with the World Wrestling Federation. He has agreed to an exclusive written contract. WCW Saturday Night was broadcast, it got a 0.16 television mm -hmm. rating. So let's end. Okay, it looks like we... Are these the news from... I think because now it's Monday, these are the news from Sunday, no? because there is no Raw or uh, Nitro. Okay, then we can read these ones and then finish the episode. WWF, it's time! No, there was a pay-per-view. There was a pay-per-view yesterday. World Wrestling Federation had WWF, it's time last night. In Midwest, strange name for pay-per-view. Yeah, also probably from the... This game probably really has a generic name generator. What people always assume WWF has in, in reality. So, oh, no spoilers, please. No, the Godwin's been the titles. Midwest. 41,000 fans! My god, for such an event! So, WWF certainly not going through a crisis. They do 40,000 people. Feedback has been awesome. The show's getting fantastic reviews. So, let's see what they did. A 92 show rating. Was that the best event we've seen? So, 40,000 people. A buy rate, pay per view buy rate. I should pay attention to that. To 3.07, oh, 3 1.5 million buys. 0 0.02 television rating. Um, yeah, here yeah, it shows us in, in which channels it was watched or seen. I should pay more attention to that, even though I'm not sure if that's a great number or not, but it sounds impressive. <laughs> I don't have a comparison. This was a long show, my god. So we had a pre show. Alex Porto defeated the Brooklyn Brawler. Justin Branchow defeated Mark Henry. Salvatore Sincere defeated Barry Horowitz. The New Rockers defeated Virgil and Freddy Joe Floyd. Then the main show began. Bret Hart taunted Shawn Michaels in a backstage interview. Then the opening contest. Bob Holly defeated the Goon in a cage match. That's your opening match. You put these two people in a cage. Did they have a storyline? There was a backstage segment with Dark Hendricks. An interview with Jerry Lawler. This reads like a very long event. A lot of matches and a lot of segments. Rey Mysterio and the Dogs of War defeated Honky Tonk Man and the Devil Machines. So, a little reminder who these people are, Honky Tonk Man, The Devil Machines are Rikishi Fatu and Glenn Jacobs, aka Kane, and the Dogs of War are Jake Roberts and Savio Vega, they team with Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio is successful here, 
again in a multi-man tag match. There was an interview with The Undertaker, a backstage segment with Jim Cornette. The Warlord defeated Viscera, Yokozuna defeated King Kong Bundy so far. It doesn't sound like the greatest show on earth. Probably these matches were all quite short. Coco Beware defeated Jeff Jarrett. There was an interview with Bradley Piper, a backstage segment with Rey Mysterio. Tatanka defeated Jerry Lawler. I guess the main events really delivered. An interview with Mankind. Not. Oh, it's not over yet. There is still a lot of content. How long was the show? 10 hours? Like AEW these days again. A lot of Tony Khan influence here on these shows. So a video hyped Smoking Guns vs. The Godwins and The Godwins defeat Smoking Guns to win the WWF World Tag Team titles. Mankind defeated, trip, defeated Hunter herself in a great match, 91 rating. There was a backstage segment with Vince McMahon, a video hyped Farouk vs. Mark Merrow. Backstage segment with Yokozuna. Farouk defeated Mark Merrow to retain the Intercontinental title. Also a good match. Owen Hart defeated the British Bulldog. Another classic match. Yeah, this is like WrestleMania 10. A few 5 star matches, or maybe not 5 star, but 4 star or more. And these are not Uncle Dave 4 star matches. 90 rating. Very good match. Bret Hart defeated Cyclist with 94 rating. Almost a perfect match. Bret Hart is a magician get a great match out of everybody but why is he not fighting Shawn Michaels if they Shawn Michaels fought for the WWF title but lost to Steve Austin another 94 rating yeah this show had four fantastic matches a lot of drag on the show as well but if you get four incredible matches then everybody's happy that was an impressive pay-per-view and we got new tag team champions the good old Godwins the tag team gold superstars was also shown on the same night <laughs> got a 0 0.1 tv rating Did they show that before the show rick steiner stays with wcw and i will see you next time it's much more digestible if i keep it to two weeks so i'll see you then bye bye